Hi there, my name's Kat and welcome to our chair yoga sequence for today. So before we get started, we need to make sure we've got a nice sturdy chair and you're also on a non-slip surface. So if you're on carpet or something where it's, it's quite grippy and your chair won't slide from side to side, then that's great. If you are on a slippery surface, um, you'll need to find something like some rubber matting or find a carpeted surface for you to put your chair on just so that you don't lose your stability during the practice. Some other things that you'll need today is some comfy clothes, as well as something to use as a strap. So you can use a dish towel or a pillowcase will work just as well. And sitting in your chair, your feet should comfortably reach the ground. Now, if they don't, it's okay to pop something underneath your feet. Just so make sure you get some good connection with the ground there. It'll just help with your stability and in also doing the poses correctly so that your body can be in the right alignment. Now I'm using a block here, but if you don't have a block, you could also use something nice and firm. So some phone books or some recipe books, or I don't know, anything that you've got that's nice and solid. You can even put like a, a tightly wrapped blanket underneath your feet and that will do just as well. So to get started today, we're going to get comfortable in our chair. So get comfortable in your body, get comfortable in the moment that you're in at the moment. So we're going to start off by doing a three-part breath. So a three-part breath is a yogic breathing exercise and it helps you to use all of your lungs. So sometimes when we breathe in, we can often do reverse breathing. So we breathe in and we suck in our belly and we breathe out and we let our belly go. That's not actually getting the full breath into the body. So let's start off by taking our hands on our lower body. And I'd just like you to put your fingertips just touching. So when you breathe in, your fingertips should part slightly and breathe out, the fingertips should come back together. Breathe in and breathe out. And this is breathing into the bottom of the lungs. Breathing out, in and out through the nose if you can. If that's, not, if that's not comfortable, then you can breathe in and out through your mouth, but the nose is the best way to do that one there. So breathing in, belly expands. Breathing out, belly contracts. Breathing in and out. The next part of our three-part breath, so we're gonna try and take our hands up onto our lower ribs. So we're gonna breathe in and our belly will expand. And then we're gonna breathe in a bit deeper until we feel the side ribs start to move out to the side. It's not comfortable to have your arms out here. You can cross over here as well. It just helps to widen through the chest if you can place your arms out to the side. So breathing in, belly expand. Ribs expand. Breathing out, the ribs contract. And the belly draws in. Breathing in. And breathing out, ribs contract. Belly draws in, breathing in, belly draws out, ribs expand, breathing out, ribs contract and the belly draws in. Now the last part of our three part breath is we're gonna take our hands up onto the top of our chest just with our fingertips touching our collarbones. Be careful of my microphone there. So the third part of our breath is we breathe in, the belly balloons out, the lower ribs expand, and then the third part is the chest will rise. So breathing in, belly, ribs, and then chest. And breathing out, the chest falls, the ribs contract, and the belly draws in. Breathing in, belly, draw, belly balloons out, ribs expand, and chest rises. And breathing out, the chest falls, the ribs contract, and the belly draws in. One more guided breath here. Breathing in, belly balloons out, Ribs expand and the chest rises. And breathing out. Chest falls, ribs contract and the belly draws in. Now if you'd like to close your eyes and just do a couple of breaths in your own time, just get that feeling for using your whole lung capacity. It's really opening up and widening through the lungs and through the chests. Giving yourself that nice rush of oxygen. And one more here, breathing in, belly, ribs, chest, breathing out, chest, ribs, 
and belly. Fantastic. So we're now going to start warming up through the body. So let's warm up through the upper body here. So we're going to take our right hand down and take our left arm up. We're going to reach up to the ceiling as high as we can. And then we're going to bend over to the left hand side. The right hand side. <laughs> Inhaling, so breathing in, reaching up with the fingertips again. Exhaling, taking the left hand down. We're going to take the right hand up. Reaching through the right fingertips, reaching high up to the ceiling. And then on exhale, we're going to lean over to the left. So trying not to collapse through with our upper body here. And the shapes that your body is making doesn't have to be the same shapes as I am. If you can only get your arm to here comfortably, that's quite okay. You're still going to get an opening through the side body here. So it's working within the capabilities of your body as it is today and sort of just being comfortable with wherever you're at for the moment. So we'll do one more on each side. So taking the left arm up, reaching through the fingertips and reaching over to the right, trying to keep this left hip down in the chair. We don't want to come up and go too far. So making sure we don't overbalance. Breathing out, reaching up with the fingertips again, then coming down and then taking the right arm up, reaching the right arm up, fingertips up towards the ceiling and leaning over to the right, to the left. I'm trying to mirror today. I'm not very good at left and rights on a good day. So we'll just see how we go. We're going to breathe in, come back up, take this fingertips up to the ceiling again and coming back down. So you stay facing this way on your chair, but I'm just going to spin sideways to demonstrate a bit better for you. We're now going to do cat and cow. So to do that, we're going to take our hands flat on top of our thighs. On our inhalation, we're going to arch through the back. So we're going to take the chest and the heart up and forward, looking back slightly. We don't want to collapse in the back of the neck. We just want to keep the neck nice, the back of the neck nice and long. So keep the chin tucked in slightly. So looking up, opening through the chest, inhale, breathing in. And exhale, we're going to round through the back. We're going to tuck the chin to the chest. Arching through the back here. Inhale, reversing it. Arching through the back, looking up. But remember to keep the back of the neck long, so keeping the chin tucked a little bit. And exhale, rounding out through the back, tucking the chin to the chest. One more here, inhale, coming forward, opening up through the heart and the chest. Trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together here too, get a really wonderful opening through the chest. Keeping the back of the neck long and exhale, rounding through the back. Now, if anything feels niggly or not quite right for you at any time through the practice, bring that back to a place where it feels comfortable and good for you. Because basically nothing in yoga should hurt. It was okay if you feel a nice gentle stretch, but if anything feels pinchy, just bring it back to a spot where it feels comfortable for you. So we'll warm up through the neck. You say, hello, Obi. Yoga cats come for a visit. Going to turn our head to the left and turn our head to the right. Turning to the left, turning to the right, nice slow movements through the neck and then taking the left ear to the left shoulder, coming up right ear to the right shoulder and then chin to chest, stretching through the back of the neck and looking up again making sure we don't collapse through the back of the neck just keeping the chin tucked in slightly wonderful we'll roll the shoulders back and then we'll roll the shoulders forward we're going to do some warm-ups through the upper body now so we're going to just take our hands spin our hands in one direction and the other direction. Squeeze our fingers into fists and spread them out wide. Fists and spread wide. Fists and spread wide. And then taking our fingertips to our shoulders and then lengthening out through the arms. Fingertips to shoulders, lengthening out through the arms. Fantastic. 
So now we're going to come and we're going to do some arm lifts. So again, if you feel any pain in the shoulders, just take it. It doesn't have to come right over the head. Even if you get a movement like this, it's still a really wonderful movement for your body. But if you can take your hands up and over, then you follow through to wherever you're at today. So taking the arms down, relaxing the shoulders and the neck, relaxing the muscles in the face, particularly here in the jaw. We're going to breathe in. We're going to reach our fingers up, reaching through the fingertips. And then we're going to breathe out, taking our arms down, relaxing through the shoulder and the neck and the face. Breathing in, taking the arms up, and breathing out, taking the arms down, relaxing through the shoulders and the neck. One more time here, breathing in, reaching up, breathing out, coming down. We're going to warm up through our feet now too. So we're going to sit back in our chair so we're nice and sturdy. We're going to take our right foot up, and if you need any help holding this leg up, this is where you can use your strap or your dishcloth. So you can just put it under the knee and hold your leg up here like this. Otherwise, if you'd like to strengthen the muscles here or work on strengthening, try and strengthen and engage those muscles in your quad here and lifting the foot off the ground. So whichever modification works for you. Pointing and flexing the feet and then rotating the foot around at the ankle. In one direction, and in the other direction. We're then going to bend the knee again, taking our strap, placing under the knee. We're then going to bring the knee into the chest as far as is comfortable. Exhale, letting go. Inhale, squeezing the knee up. Exhale, letting that go. Inhale, squeezing up. Exhale, letting go, and now we'll move on to the other leg. So again, lifting up the leg, or if you need to use the strap or your homemade strap for support, that's completely okay too. Holding your leg, making these muscles up the top nice and strong. We're going to point and flex the toes. And then round in one direction, enjoying all those pops and clicks. <laughs> and in the other direction, and then bending the leg at the knee, taking the strap underneath the knee or your hands and squeezing in and release. Squeezing in and release. Squeezing in and release. Coming back down to the ground there. So the next one that we're going to do is again warming up through the hands. So what we're doing is we're going to run through a series of postures and we're going to build up to doing a modified sun salutation. So sun salutation is a sequence of yoga poses that you practice in six sessions. So we're going to practice the poses individually to start off with and then at the end we're going to join them all together to do a sun salutation together. So the first one that we're going to do is we've already come up and over and again, finding the variation that works for you. Now we need to do pushing. So we're going to inhale, push our arms out from the shoulders. So pushing, you stay facing forward. And then on an exhale, we're going to bring the hands back, but just in line with the chest. Exhale, push. Inhale, bringing them back, widening through the chest. Inhale, push. Exhale, coming back. Inhale, push. Exhale, coming back. And modifying a little bit now, we're going to come to cactus arms. So we're going to make ourselves look like a cactus. We're going to cactus arms. And then we're going to hug ourselves. So trying to hug ourselves in and rounding through the back like what we were doing with cat and cow. So we're going to inhale, take the chest wide with our cactus. Exhale, we're going to round through the back and hug it in. Inhale, cactus, nice wide chest. So I'll show you from the side what we're looking at. So nice wide chest, open heart. Exhale, curling in. Inhale, cactus arms. Exhale, curling in. 
So you can do another couple of shoulder rolls here if you like, just taking it at your own pace too. And if you need to stop it all during any of the practice, then just take a moment, take a breather and join us when you feel good again. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a twist, a modified twist. So we're going to take our arm up and then we're going to twist to the left. So we're going to take the right hand on the outside of the left leg and the right hand's going to come back onto the chair. So if you want to, you can really twist yourself around holding onto the back of the chair. But just coming onto the side is completely okay. We're going to sit up nice and tall, reaching through the crown of the head. We're going to breathe in, lengthen ourselves, so make ourselves really long in the body. And exhale, we're going to twist around to the back. Inhale, make ourselves long through the body. Exhale, we're going to twist to the back. And then inhale, coming back to the middle, taking our arms up again. And on our next exhale, we're going to twist now to the right. So taking the left hand to the outside of the right leg and the right hand just to the side of the chair. So you're going to breathe in, lengthen through the crown of the head, make the body really long. Exhale, twist. Inhale, breathe in, make ourselves long. Exhale, twist. Inhale, breathe in and exhale twist and then inhale back to the middle we'll take our arms up again and we're going to come into a forward fold but if you have low blood pressure you shouldn't be taking your head lower than your heart so make sure if you do have low blood pressure that you do your forward fold with your hands on your legs and just bringing your head to that point above your heart so that you don't lower that blood pressure there if you don't have any problems with low blood pressure, you can bring your head as far down as it is comfortable for you to do this forward fold. In the forward fold, we'll do three breaths and then we'll come back up again. We're now going to do our press and our push, bringing those arms back, really squeezing through the shoulder blades. And then we're going to come into a down dog, a modified down dog. So down dog is a posture that's frequently used in yoga. And this is how we're going to do our down dog today. So we're going to take our legs wide, as wide as is comfortable. And then we're going to take our arms up. And this is our down dog. So we're making a star with our bodies. Wonderful. Bringing it back in. And we're going to do a twist. So first of all, practice our down dog a couple of times. So taking the legs wide first, then taking the arms wide. Again, working with what is comfortable for you and coming back to center. So if this feels quite heavy in the shoulders. Just give yourself time to do those little shoulder rolls. So doing a lot of movement up in the upper body today. And then to finish off, we're going to do a twist. So again, if you have the low blood pressure, making sure you don't come too far forward. And you can take your hand down anywhere that you like. So this is also a modified side angle pose, not just a twist. So we take our right hand to the outside of our left leg. And then we open out to the side with our left arm. So you can bring that right down. Or you can do it up here. If your arm is uncomfortable, you can just keep your arm here or on the back of the chair. Finding whichever variation works for you. And then coming down to the other side, left hand to the outside of the right leg. And then opening up with the right arm. Again, you can come all the way down if it feels good. Or if you just prefer to stay up and do a little gentle twist, that's okay too. We're then going to bring our hands to our heart. Close the eyes. And that will be our sun salutation, our modified sun salutation. So let's run through one of those. So we're going to start off hands in front of our heart and closing the eyes. We're going to do three three part breaths here. So remember belly expands, ribs expand and the chest rise, chest falls, ribs contract and the belly draws in. 
belly expands, ribs expand and the chest rises. The chest falls, the ribs contract and the belly draws in. Next thing we're going to take the arms up, taking the arms up overhead. We're going to reach up high with the fingers. I'm going to take the left hand down first and we're going to reach over to the left hand side, staying heavy in this right hip. Holding here for a breath or two. Then we're going to inhale coming up, bringing both arms up again. And then we're going to take the right arm down and we're going to come over to the right. We're going to inhale, bringing our arms up again. And now we're going to come into a twist. So we're going to twist to the left. So taking the right hand to the outside of the left leg and the left hand to the outside of the chair. We're going to make ourselves long through the body and twist to the back. Breathing in, making ourselves long. Breathing out, twisting ourselves around to the left. We're going to breathe in, inhaling, coming back to the middle, arms up. Breathing out, we're going to twist to the right. So taking the right, the left hand to the outside of the right leg, the right hand to the back of the chair. We're going to breathe in, making ourselves long through the body. Imagine we've got that string through the top of the head. And we're going to breathe out, twisting around to the right. Breathing in, making ourselves long. And breathing out, twisting ourselves around. Breathing in, twisting back to the middle. We're just going to stop here for a breath. Catch up with where you're feeling. Wonderful. We're going to take the arms up reaching up and then on our out breath we're going to breathe out taking ourselves into a forward fold so remember low blood pressure or any feelings of dizziness just take yourself down halfway coming down nice big deep breaths in and out through the nose letting the back and the, the back of the neck lengthen And then very slowly, we're going to come back up on our next in-breath. Take as long as you need. We're going to bring our arms into cactus. And then exhale, we're going to push our arms forward. Inhale to cactus. So we're opening up through the chest here. Exhale, press forward, rounding through the back. Inhale to cactus. Exhale, pressing forward. And then we're going to inhale, come back to the center. And then we're going to take our legs out for our downward dog. So you can wriggle forward onto the front of your chair if it feels good. And then you can take your arms up one at a time and reach through your fingertips and reach through your toes. That's wonderful. Exhale, bringing everything back into the center, arms down, legs together. Now we're going to come into our twist. So we'll twist to the left first. So taking the right hand down, opening up with the left. Wonderful. Inhale back to center. And then taking the left hand down to the outside of the right leg, opening up with the right hand. Wonderful. Back to center. We can take our arms up one last time and exhale, bringing them down in front of the heart. We're going to close the eyes here. Just bring our breathing back to nice and steady. As I finish off every yoga class, bow the head to the hands, turning up the corners of the lips in a smile. Thank you and namaste. Thank you for joining me for chair yoga today. I hope that you've enjoyed it. See you next time.